Okay, at this stage, I actually want to turn shading back on so I can get a feel of what the shape actually looks like. So, making sure that my mouse is in this view somewhere, I'm just going to press 5 on the keyboard, or you can click on this button here, and that'll turn the shader display on. What this does, though, is it shows up an issue that we're going to have, and that's that this is a room, but we can't see inside it. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, zoom in, like so. You can see we're now inside the room, but it's a little bit difficult because the, the walls in the foreground just kind of want to get in the way all the time. So what we're going to do is turn something on that will hide those whenever they are in the way. And what that is, is back face culling. So in order to do that, we're going to click on mesh display at the top of the screen. And then we're going to go down to under the normal section, reverse. And what that does is reverses which way the, um, the face would be facing if it was one-sided and we're about to make it one-sided. So we want, at the moment it's facing outwards, but we're going to turn it around and make it face inwards. So we click on reverse. At that stage, it should kind of go a orange and black color. That's ace, that means it's working. Don't click on it. Make sure it stays that color. And then you're going to go to display, polygons, and right at the top here, you'll see back face culling. When you click on that, you'll see that those walls in the foreground are hidden. So you can now see in the room really nicely. Okay, so I'm now just going to deselect it. And if I just move around the room, you'll see that the walls reappear once they're the far walls. So that's going to make it really useful as we're creating uh, this room project. What I'm also going to do at this stage is turn off the grid. The grid is often very useful, but it's equally irritating in the way sometimes as well. So what we're going to do is turn it off so that it's not in the way. And it's really easy to turn off. At the top of what we'll call the panel menu, so that's the menu at the top of each panel, you'll see that there is an icon for that grid. And if you click on it, it disappears, which is useful and easy.